everybody, welcome back. Um, today I want to share my design team project for Calico Collage. Um, you guys know I've I posted a tutorial on how to make the uh, fabric postcards the other day. And um, Norella has got some gorgeous images in her shop because I know there was a lot of people concerned about what would look nice, what would fit nice. So I wanted to show you two examples. And I'll put the link below to um, the Calico Collage shop um, for these images. And you guys just have a look around because this is a um, using the domino size, which is a one by two inch. And I think it just come out gorgeous on those. Um, I really do like the um, that size on here. And here's one of the other images. You get a big sheet um, full of uh, various vintage ladies, and I think they complement this uh, project perfectly. So that's the domino size, and she's got lots of different ones to choose from. I just uh, I chose these to, to play around with and try. So I wanted to show you those, and then these are um, from a separate kit, and I believe... Yeah, it's a 2 inch by 2 inch square, and Norella's got lots of different images that come in this size, so <clears throat> this just gives you an idea of how those look. And aren't they beautiful? This is the Bella Rose um, design on here. And there's one of the other ones. Oh, look at that peony. That's, I, th I think that's probably my favorite. Uh, I love a peony. I think they are beautiful. So those, I've just done a little bit of different stitching on them and tried adding some different laces, and I really love how those have come out. So I wanted to show you guys the difference. Um, you know, just playing around, and don't be afraid to try some other sizes as well. But um, I'll put... Uh, the links below to these two kits and you guys can look around because like I said she's got lots of different ones um, but I just wanted to show you these so that you'd see how that they look on uh, that size of a postcard and what I did the other thing I did different with these because um, I'm starting to now gather um, projects because I'm getting ready for markets coming up and I think these are just such a great idea to sell at uh, craft fairs and markets. And these, I've added some lavender to them so they've got a nice scent. And how nice is that going to be for somebody to open up in the mail? Or you could tuck it into a gift bag along with another gift. Um, and I just think it would be really, really nice to have that uh, the lavender scent inside of that. These, I did different... Um, They've all got the pockets so that you could have a tag or they also fit if you've got like a gift card. So that is another great um, thing I think because um, you know not everybody particularly at markets is familiar with junk journals. Um, I've not seen you know most people I mention it to they don't understand what junk journal is so my idea on this was so that you can alter these in a way that is going to be um, a really good seller at a market. I, I think they're going to be. I haven't done one yet, but I'm just now, <clears throat> when I've got some spare time, I'm going through, starting to gather up, and I genuinely think as a gift um, card presentation, this is just, I think it's going to be a great seller at a market. So think in terms of that, guys. Um, and I will just keep playing around and trying to come up with more ideas for you guys. So stop back in again, and I'll hopefully have some new, t new tutorials coming up. Thank you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. <music>